Yes. Can't you make your marimba sound more harmonious? You have a wonderful sound in your left hand, but there's something not quite right about your right hand. These are the only mouths that I have, Mr. Floristan. Hmm. There must be a way to improve your sound. I would purchase new mallets, but after paying for fog machines for the Marching Man show, I have only a few dollars left in the budget. Excuse me, Maestro, but for the cost of a foot-long subway sub, you can repair that mallet and make it sound almost as good as new. Make marimba mallets? Well, that's preposterous. That sounds almost as difficult as making oboe reeds. It's really not. If you have a half hour free, you can easily repair your old marimba mallets. That's what we're going to learn today on... If you're like most people, you probably don't have a whole lot of extra money lying around these days. Learning to rewrap marimba mallets is an inexpensive way to save your program hundreds of dollars. And in fact, if you're a high school music educator, this is something that you could share with your upperclassmen, maybe make it an extra credit project. Then you're not only saving money, but time as well. Most marimba mallets that you can buy through a store are wrapped using a machine, which assures even tensioning and exact thickness. However, with a little bit of practice, you can come pretty darn close to replicating these marimba mallets on your own. You really only need three things for this project. Yarn, a needle, preferably a hooked needle, and an X-Acto knife or a pair of scissors. When selecting yarn, I would recommend a blend of wool and synthetic material. This will give your mallets a good tone quality and also help with durability. It doesn't really matter what color of yarn you use, though if you're wrapping multiple mallets with different hardnesses, you may want to select contrasting colors for each, say, blue for soft and red for hard. The first step is to hold the mallet between your legs and to tie a knot at the base of the mallet core. This will help hold the yarn on for the initial wrapping. Working from out to in, you will wrap the yarn tightly around the core. You want to try and maintain even pressure on the yarn the entire time, otherwise the mallet may not stay on the core and you'll have places where the mallet is uneven. Turning the mallets in one eighth turns, repeat this procedure going directly over the middle of the core. It's important that you remember how many times you go around, especially if you're rewrapping pairs, to ensure consistency. It will probably take you a minimum of 50 wraps to completely cover the core. Of course, this thickness of yarn you select and size of the core will cause this number to vary, but it should give you a ballpark number. Once the core is completely covered to your satisfaction, you will make a second layer of yarn, this time going around the center, which will create a small indentation at the top of the mallet. This will be used to hold the yarn in place once we're done with the wrapping. You're going to want to continue to go around in eight turns as before, but this time, Make sure that you're going around diagonally instead of up and over as previous. After you've made roughly another 50 wraps on the second layer, you can then go over to your marimba just to test its hardness. Particularly important, if you're trying to match it with another marimba mallet, say it was a pair, You'll want to play both mallets back to back, and from there you can determine if you need to add more wraps which will make a softer mallet, or subtract some of the wraps that you've already added and make it a harder mallet. Once you're satisfied with the hardness of the mallet, you're going to cut the yarn and you're going to leave about a foot at the end. And one way to just to secure the yarn is to wrap it around the shaft like this, and that way at the top it won't slip on you. The next step is to thread your needle and then unwind that length of yarn from the mallet shaft. And you may want to put some pressure on the base of the mallet head just to make sure that none of the yarn that you already put in place becomes unwrapped. After that looks pretty good, you're going to go in through that little indentation that you put at the top and you're going to go out as near as you can to the top of the mallet. Okay, so in through the indentation and then, then out. 
and then put and then pull. Okay, and you're going to go around and repeat this procedure as many times as it takes to go around to give you a nice clean look. Once you've gone all the way around and it looks pretty good, you're going to turn your mallet over and you're going to repeat the process, this time going up through the mallet head near the base and out. You want to make sure that you keep the yarn tight, just like you did at the top. All right. Almost done. So once you've gone all the way around the bottom, you're just going to make a couple of more safety wraps, and that's just to secure the yarn, make sure it doesn't fall out. Okay, pull tightly. Next step is take your X Acto knife, and you're going to cut it near the mallet head, and voila! You have made a Maruma mallet. Here you go, Eusebius. Thank you, Bill.